Good morning, beautiful. Hi. How you doing? I'm good. How are you? Yeah, pretty good. I just wanted to ask you a question. Can you give me a concrete example of how you had to learn something in order to live with me? Um, you had a completely different concept of um, how to live. You were a very public person and I was a very private person. So in order to understand who you were, I had to try and get into your world, which was about as alien to me as dog falling in love with a cat. This little girl is watching everything that the adult girl is doing and then starts to do it for herself. It looks like it's painful. I think you're right. Is teaching, is learning difficult for you? Well, I think teaching is difficult for anybody because it means I have to leave space for something new to come in. Now, the thing is, is we all want to be thinking that we're right and we don't want to be thinking that we're wrong. But being teachable means sometimes I have to entertain the idea that I am wrong and leave space to, uh, to see it change. In this typical toolbox, most of what we'll need for everyday home maintenance is right here. However, if I want to rebuild this engine and install it, those home tools will not be up to the task. Also, I'll have to be taught the specifications for a successful engine rebuild. Actually, you love cats, and I didn't. So you kind of taught me little by little how to love cats, what their language was, what they related to, what they didn't relate to. Um, and I think I can transfer that over into my rapport with you as well, is that you were a completely different person than me. You had, you, you're a very private person. I'm a very public person. I had to learn your signals, learn what you love, learn what you don't love um, in order to bring out the best in you. Have a different kind of exercise. This time he's working his ankles. How could you explain that in terms of a relationship? Well, a relationship is a very complex thing and it has a lot of elements that go into it. What works for us, for example, cooking in the kitchen, is not the same thing as, it's, as what's going to work when we're driving in the car together or when you're at your job or when I'm at my job. So there's a whole different set of information for each one. It really looks like she's really enjoying this boat ride in the tropics. But how much learning took place so that she could do it? Would you explain it to someone? What it means to have a teachable attitude in marriage? If you need to do something, you have to learn how to do it. For example, when I first moved out on my own, I moved into my own apartment. It had no furniture in it. I had to go out and buy furniture which looked very fine in the shop but when I got it home it was flat packed. So I had to learn how to build it. So you had to learn how to basically assemble me. Well, <laughs> no, because God had already assembled you. What I had to do was to learn how God had assembled you, to know how it works. Would you, you can't run a program unless you know how it works. But someone had to learn to make and maintain the engine so it could go. And this captain had to learn how to pilot the boat and navigate it through the waterways. Yes, indeed. Judy's enjoying herself immensely. And I doubt she's considering all these things. But without people learning to pilot and maintain the vessel, this ride wouldn't have happened. I've got this great gift idea for your birthday. Look, uh, it's a shifting spanner. You know, you go and, you, and then I have these drill bits. Huh? I mean, that's just absolutely, isn't that what you always wanted? Are you kidding isn't me? Isn't that what you always wanted? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Well, I wasn't, but there we go. Does this mean I have still some things to learn? I think maybe you do. This concludes as an ongoing process our chapter on teachability. The next top topic is going to be God is the one who put us together. Yeah. <laughs>